So when I'm asked what type of surge protection device I recommend, I always say the Siemens FS140. That's the first surge 140. And the reason I do is it has very good specifications. Now there's a lot of hype around surge protection devices and I just encourage you to ignore that and take a look at the specifications on the units, actually what they were tested to, all right? And there are really four values that I think are important. Two of them are voltage related and two of them are current related. All right, the two that are current related, let's start with those first. The first one is the nominal discharge current, usually denoted I sub N. And that is the amount of current the device can handle with repeated pulses, all right? It can be tested to 5,000, 10,000 amps, or 20,000 amps. And in the case of the FS140, it's tested to the 20,000 amps. And so that's the best you can get. All right, so I like that. The next one you wanna look for is the surge current rating. And that's where the FS140 gets its name. It's tested to a full 140,000 amp surge current, which is amazing. As far as I know, it's the most surge current that any type 2 S surge protection device is tested to anywhere. So it's extremely uh, well tested in terms of its maximum surge current that it can take. Next are the two voltage ratings that, that I think are very important. One is the MCOV or maximum continuous operating voltage. And that is basically what voltage level does the unit start to turn on at, all right? In other words, it should let through normal power without ever turning on or it would burn up. And most of the surge protections turn on somewhere around 150, 160 volts. And the FS140 indeed turns on at about 150 volts from line to neutral, okay? Which is a good value, it's a reasonable value. And then finally is, uh, are the voltage protection ratings. Now these are very important. They tell you what the maximum voltage the surge protection device will allow to exist on the lines without fully shorting them out. And so what you want is you want a value that's not too high, all right? So in the case of the FS140, their line to neutral, line to ground, and neutral to ground are all set at 600 volts, which might sound like a lot, but again, these are very brief times that it allows it to be that big. And then the line to line is set at 900 volts. Right. But what's most important is that they have all four values. Right? Many surge protection devices do not have all of those ratings. They skimp by leaving out some components and they don't provide full protection. So maybe they provide line to neutral, but they don't provide line to ground all right, or something like that. So it's important that you look at the specification for those four values. Line to neutral, line to ground, neutral to ground, and line to line. Look, make sure it has all four of them. Okay, The exact values aren't that critical, but it's important that it has all four of them. So the FS140, in my opinion, checks all the boxes. It has great specifications across the board. It also has a couple of nice features that I really like about it. It has a visual warning. It'll start flashing bright red lights whenever it is damaged, and it will sound an audible alarm. It will beep loudly. And I really like that because you can have a damaged unit and not even know it and think you're protected. All right, and so I, I really like that it has those features of both audible and visual warning. So great specifications, very good features. I also took apart the FS140 as well as a whole bunch of other surge protectors and I looked at the build quality. And I've got one here. Um, and what I found was that they just do a really nice job, a very professional job of building it. You can see the different banks of these protective devices, these metal oxide varistors. And again, they go with those different protections. You know, line to neutral for one of the lines, line to neutral for the other, line to ground, neutral to ground, line to line. So all of them are there, all the protections there. And each one is, is in fourplex. There's four of them in parallel to give you even more protection, which is how they get those very, very high current ratings is they put enough components in parallel to shunt away the current. So it's just a really good build quality, a very heavy duty, a very robust product. They didn't cut any corners, which I really like about that. All right, so I like the FS140. That should be pretty obvious. You want to combine those with some high saturation ferrites if you're trying to protect against an EMP. Now, the FS140 or any surge protection does a great job of suppressing against over voltages that come in on the power lines. It could be from nearby lightning strikes, it could be from load shedding or other problems, or it could be from an EMP type event that causes some kind of surge on the power lines. All right, so it's a general protective device. It's not an EMP, quote unquote, EMP protective device. It's just a general surge protection device. If you put the high saturation ferrites online, that also helps to suppress very fast um, transients that might be a result of an EMP or some other kind of transient, all right? So when combined, the high saturation ferrites and the FS140, I think could do a very good job of protecting a home, all the appliances and electronics from transients that might come in on the power lines, all right? Now, there are other things obviously you need to do to protect from an EMP. I'm just talking about protecting from the surges that might come in on the power lines.
So I really like the FS140. The only drawback of it is sometimes it's very difficult to find. Lots of people have heard how great it is and they'll buy them up and they'll disappear for a while. So what we decided to do at disasterpair.com is become a distributor and sell the Siemens FS140 directly. All right, so if you're looking for one, go to disasterpair.com. At least you know you're buying from somebody trusted, you're getting an authentic product, and you can get one of the FS140s. Now, we may not be the lowest, absolute cheapest. Maybe you can go on Amazon and find something for a few dollars less, but we're trying to keep it in stock as a service to the customers. Okay, so that's why I like the FS140. If you have any questions, feel free to post them and I'll try and answer them. Um, same goes for any questions about EMP protective devices. Post them and I'll try and answer them as best as I can.